I am not a JavaScript expert by any means, but I have used JavaScript from time to time when the built-in features of Adobe Captivate just don't provide me with the solution that I need under certain circumstances. When I saw this post on the Adobe eLearning community, I started to wonder if there was a JavaScript solution to this problem. The original poster here wrote, how can I create a button action that opens the URL in question in a new browser window sans browser Chrome, and what they meant by that is without any menus, without any toolbars, without any bookmark bars, etc. So I did a little research and I went to one of my favorite sites um, and that's uh, w3schools.com and found the command window.open and uh, took a look at the details here found out that first of all you know the browser support was good for this particular command sometimes that can be a problem with javascript and the syntax pr uh, seems pretty uh, simple so uh, i decided to continue to read about the different parameters and specifications that you can use and came up with a couple of solutions that hopefully will uh, will help that original poster and maybe all of you as well so here's a simple slide that I've created with a number of buttons that we're intending to open in new browser windows. So here's our first example here. Um, this case here, we have actually a PDF file that's located on the web. We'd like to open it in a browser, but we don't necessarily want to give uh, the users the ability to start navigating the web from that browser. So we're going to keep that browser real simple. I'm going to change the on success action to execute JavaScript. You're going to want to make sure that the JavaScript is running in the current window and not a new window. And you also want to make sure that continue playing the project is unchecked so that the slide remains paused uh, while the user goes off and explores this particular site. So let's uh, open up the script window and I'll show you how to write the script for this particular uh, example. So again, the command that we're using is window.open. And uh, spelling, of course, uh, counts. Make sure you spell it correctly. We need to include parentheses. And uh, at the end of every JavaScript command, you need a semicolon. Now we're going to put our arguments within the parentheses here. First thing we need is that web address. So I'm going to put that in quotation marks. I've copied it into my, my clipboard. And I can paste that in right there. And uh, after the first set of quotations, we're going to put a comma. And we're going to give this window a name. In this case here, I'm just going to call it reference, uh, since it is a reference guide. Now for that, I'm going to follow up with another comma. And we're going to put in our size and position arguments at this point. And they also need to be within quotation marks. So I'm going to type in height equals 700. So in other words, this browser window will be 700 tall, comma, width equals 1024 is a good size. And uh, we're also going to choose the position on the slide as well. So left equals 25, so 25 pixels from the left, and top equals 25, so 25 pixels from the top. And that's basically it. So let's click OK and let's do a quick test of this one before we move on to the other examples. So I'm going to preview this in HTML5 in browser. And we'll click this button here. And as you can see, it opens that PDF file within a browser window. Uh, no tabs, no bookmark bars like I would typically have in my particular Chrome um, installation. But uh, this is perfect. I can't navigate away, really. All I can really do is, you know, maybe download the file and, of course, close it and return back to my e-learning course. So let's do another simple example. Uh, this one, will, I'll just simply take you to my website. We'll use the same command structure as before. So execute JavaScript. Again, uncheck continue playing the project and make sure it's in the current window. And we'll open up the script window. And in this case here, we can just type this out real quick. Window.open, opening parentheses, quote, https colon slash slash 
a little bit of shameless self-promotion here. CaptivateTeacher.com, quotation, comma. We're going to call this website. That's going to be the name of the window. And followed by a comma, height equals, and we'll use those same numbers as before, width 1024, top 25. These can be typed in in any order. Uh, left 25. And I need a quotation mark. And um, closing parentheses, semicolon. I think we're good to go unless I've typed something wrong here. Let's do a quick preview of that. Make sure that works as expected as well. So there's my Captivate reference guide. CaptivateTeacher.com. Perfect. Now the last thing I had in mind was, you know how often in e-learning we might have a page, usually at the beginning of the course, with course instructions. You know, how to navigate the course, what to expect throughout the course, uh, maybe some of the specifics about a quiz. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if you just had an information icon that appeared starting on the first slide and maybe the timing for it was set to be rest of project. Uh, we don't need a pause on that. But um, so that no matter what slide the user is on, at any moment that they wish to review those instructions or whatever other information you wish to convey to your learners, you could just click this icon and a little pop-up appears with those instructions. So we're not necessarily taking them to a website, but we're opening up a browser window and including a message in there. So let me show you how that works. We'll go back to our properties inspector. We'll change the on success action to execute JavaScript. Uh, like before, we want to make sure that it's in the current window and that continue playing the project is unchecked. We'll open the script window and we're going to start with the same command as before. Window.open. Uh, we're going to put our parentheses in. And so the first thing that you normally use for this command is the URL. But we don't have a URL, so I'm just going to do two quotation marks followed by a comma. Uh, the name of the window goes next. We don't need to put anything in there. And now we're going to put the size and location of this new window. So I'm going to type in quotation. We'll type in width equals 350 followed by a comma, height equals 400, followed by a comma, left equals 25, comma, top equals 25. So again, it'll be positioned at the upper left-hand corner, 25 pixels in, 25 down. It'll be 350 wide and 400 tall. We need another quotation there to close out those arguments. And the next thing for us to do is to actually start a new command called document.write and a new parentheses, new quotation mark, and we need a paragraph indicator. We'll type in hello world, for example. Close out that paragraph and uh, closing quote and closing parentheses and then a semicolon, and we'll click OK. Let's test that out. So what we get is uh, when we click on this, and again, you can make this available for the rest of your project, you can have this little pop-up window with whatever instructions that you wish to include. Let's put in some real-life uh, examples here. I have some course instructions that I've written to include uh, some text formatting as well. So what I'll do is I'll replace the hello world message with uh, that stuff. And this includes, like I said, some text formatting and a couple paragraphs of instructions. So we'll click OK. And now we'll test that out and see what that looks like. So you click on the information icon and you see this nice little formatted uh, explanation of how to navigate the course, that there'll be various exercise questions throughout the course, and at the end they need to get a score of 70% to pass this course. So a nice little almost job aid, if you will, on how to complete the course. And uh, again, it's available from any slide within the course 
a great way to use the window.open command in JavaScript. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.